especially Tina Turner first of all. So let me just pop it up here. Um, so we were going with the cap one four, and we were mainly doing this E minor with one finger, E minor seven, and that was our long one. And you go one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven D, and the same again. So that was our part one. Um, so that works for the intro as well. So you kind of get this. That sort of idea. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give you an intro. And we're going to jump into that straight away. And I'll tell you the ideas behind it. And um, hopefully it's something you can go work on. So we're once again capo number four. So what we're going to do, uh, I'll leave out the bass notes for now, but we have this chord called the funky D, which is the D minor 7. It looks like that, so really it's a D chord. You bring it back a place, so it's on 1, it doesn't sound good. And then what you do is this finger goes down and this one goes up. That's called the funky D. But what's going to happen um, this time, let's see what's another better way maybe of explaining this one. Um yeah, okay, so what we'll do is we'll actually think of D minor. So we'll take D minor like that. We'll bring this finger here, we'll bring that down to number one here, and we'll bring this finger up to number two here. Like that. So we've got this kind of weird squash thing going on. Our fingers are supposed to normally be like that, but this is how it's going to work for this song. This finger, this one squashed above, and this one in number two. So that's step one. I'll come back to step two in the next video. 